Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing up the man. She's always got another uh, passing scheme breakdown for you guys today. Uh, today, I'm putting out uh, probably one of the last formations from the Packers that I'm going to do all year. Uh, and the reason for that is pretty simple. I love the Packers. It's the playbook of choice that I've been using probably for like a month or two now. I started the season with the Ravens. I really enjoyed some of the running schemes in that uh, playbook. That's a really fun playbook. Uh, I moved on to the Packers. And I think it's time to move on to a new one. The Packers, I kind of fell into based off of the fact that it just has some of the best passing schemes in the game. Uh, I highly recommend this. Um, if you guys are looking through my ebooks, I mean, there's great run plays in here too. It's going to be hard to move on because, like I said, this has really become my favorite playbook. It wasn't by choice. It just happened that way. But I want to move on to a, a, popular, a more popular playbook. I'm thinking either uh, Saints or uh, maybe the Raiders, maybe the Niners. But I want you guys to help me out. Let me know in the comments section. I want to focus on the one uh, that's going to be most popular. That's going to feed the most, you know, the largest portion of my audience. Uh, but today I'm going to do one last scheme. It's going to be a big one. This is probably going to be like an 8 to 10 play scheme i'm not really sure uh how big just yet um i'm not gonna have it all on youtube obviously i'll probably have like three four plays on youtube and then the rest will be on patreon hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you want to see the full version of this breakdown on youtube i might put out like on a saturday or a sunday sometimes i just put all the plays together and i just release it to the full youtube audience uh but for now it's just going to be on my uh, my patreon and my my join now community i'm going to start off uh, with a couple i mean there's some really great home run plays in this i chose the packers once again uh, they just have so many great passing plays, th especially when it comes to bunch. I think they have the best gun bunch in the game. Uh, they're definitely great one play touchdown plays, one of which is the corner strike. Corner strike might be the best play uh, in this formation, uh, but like I said, I got a lot of them. I'm going to focus on zone beaters, man beaters, all of them. Uh, and the corner strike is going to be the first play that I pick. So let's go and let's pick that. This play is especially explosive against cover three, which I know is a pretty popular defense, which I can't understand why, because I got so many great cover three one play touchdowns. Now, before I get into this video, I just want to say uh, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors, MMOXP.com. If you guys are looking to build your MUT team, check them out. Link in the description below. If you use discount code MONEYSHOT, you get 5% off, and they already have like the cheapest coins in the marketplace, if you ask me. So without a doubt, check them out. So getting into the play, this play right here, it, this is a play that I've been using for a very very long time you might already know it I don't know if I necessarily have the right personnel in the right places but this is a very simple setup all I'm gonna do is put the RB route here on a streak and that's pretty much all I have to do now if I really want to make this play ex explosive as possible and as glitchy as possible I just put the B route here on a smart route uh, typically as long as you're not like on like a third and 15 if you're less than 10 yards this will this will break it like five yards but if you're like on like a second and longer or something like that second and 13 it'll actually make the the break even longer because that's what that's what it basically does that's what smart routing does it kind of works towards the marker so this play here based off the fact that uh, I'm not really in that situation it's going to uh, it's going to put him at like a five yard break which is what I need so I like to motion this guy out you can see here in cover three cover three is kind of weird you see how the cornerback comes down to the receiver that's not really a good idea but ultimately it's not going to matter because the RB route's really the guy and you can see like I said I mean oh he didn't catch it but like I said I'm probably going to switch my personnel up real quick um, so we're going to go ahead we can do this a couple different ways by the way I'm doing it by motioning out the B route but you can also motion out the running back so let's go and let's do that one more time like I said we're just kind of waiting for this guy to pass he's not really he's getting bumped around quite a bit he's getting zone chucked quite a bit but that's okay definitely can be a better uh, one play touchdown I like to also motion out the Y route uh, because the purpose of that is really to pull the safety. If you watch the safety, he will react more to that side now based off the fact that I have a streak in the slot. So you can do it one of two ways. You can motion out the running back, which I find might be the better way. You can see I scored there. Or you can motion out this guy here. I mean, smart routing him. That part's non-negotiable. You got to do that part. You can also just streak the running back where he is which is something that I didn't really mention. And then you want to block the tight end instead, you can do that. So there's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, but you can see when there's no running back over there, the safety doesn't really stay home. It doesn't really stay honest. So from that scenario, might be best to motion out the running back. 
Um, obviously, I mean, the cornerbacks you don't have to worry about. Because of what the B route's doing, you don't really have to worry about that. So here we go once again. The safety stays home. You can see he's got to respect the fact that there's receivers on both sides of him. We can't really choose one. And we got an easy one play touchdown. Now, the running back's a really good route um, depending on what, like, zone. Pretty much all zones, the running back's going to do a pretty good job other than, like, hard flats. Um, you can a lot of times you can I mean I could do the same setup But if you want to leave them on this table route a lot of times the defense doesn't react I mean the table routes are really good check down for a good catch and run if you're in a man coverage a lot of times your opponent uh, might be man to the running back and not follow so if he's out in the flats just take it it's going to be one of the easiest ways to go the flat route on the other side is pretty good too if you run against like cover two mans and stuff like that or cover two zones i'm sorry that's going to be one of the better ways to go um that's just you know this is a really good i mean there's a lot of really good cover two options even the uh the rb route here if you can see if we got enough speed all you got to do is pull and pass that pass lead that back inside but against the computer you probably got to put somebody uh you know somebody to to make the computer stay home uh, where a lot of times the user might not necessarily follow that. Like here, if I just put this A route on a in route, just something to make that that user pay attention down low. I mean, this is also a really good cover two man play because of the concept. I keep saying cover two man. I mean to say cover two zone, but ultimately, <laughs> pretty much the same setup as far as that goes um, with the uh, putting the, the the B route on a smart route. But like I said, if I don't. Like right there, I mean, the, the, the safety, or the linebacker rather, actually came back down at some point, which I don't necessarily understand. Man coverages, this play can have success as well. I'm in a cover two man. I'd say it probably works a little bit better against cover one man. Uh, but ultimately, anytime that uh, they're in a man coverage, just as long as you uh, lob this throw to the outside, you're going to have more success than you would if you bullet pass it. You can't bullet pass it against man coverage. That's the bottom line. Now, uh, Devontae Adams is lit up. It'd probably be even easier, uh, which wasn't really the plan. But like I said, it's all about the throw here, and you can have a lot of success. But like I said, you need a lot of space based off of that fact. Now, I showed the... Um the corner strike but the mesh is like the exact same thing so all i'm gonna do now i mean it's pretty much the exact same thing i would say in this scenario it's a really good idea sometimes i like to motion this guy in just to get that guy across the field faster block the running back that probably be the only difference and i don't really have to do much else i mean you can see for whatever reason the safety starts over way further on this play it could be where i am on the field i'll move the ball back to the center maybe that's the problem um, but you can see how the safety is just starting over way to the left, which is going to make it way easier. I don't have to make any motions in that scenario. So now he's more towards the center. Um, I mean, I probably don't have to make any motions once again because I probably still have enough space. Uh, as you can see, I mean, I'm still getting up that seam. So you're really just reading that safety when you're deciding what motions I have to make or what things I have to change. So, like, I can do, if I want to, I can motion this running back out. But if I can get away with keeping him in to block... That's going to be even better. I don't have to motion him out. I mean, I can, I can, I'd rather have a blocking back. But you can see there's still multiple ways uh, to make this happen. And like I said, we're just going to wipe that cover three seam no matter what look I get. So basically, I mean, the the mesh and the corner strike are very similar. Obviously, the corner strike has the table route, which to me makes it a better play. But they're very similar. The next play I'm going to show, I'm going to keep it explosive. This might be the last play. Uh, I'm going to show a man beater, the deep corner is one of the better man beaters on this and you could also hit some home runs against cover three and stuff like that as well but let's go and let's pick that and then we'll start off with man coverage just like i was saying we'll go we'll start off with a cover two man so blocking the running back one more time as i accidentally made the uh, the wrong adjustment here block the running back is about probably the only thing you're going to do consistently through most of these plays except for the last play with the table route the only adjustment that i would say you really would want to make that i think that makes the most sense is streaking the x route just to kind of split the safeties a little bit and then putting the b route on a smart route once again Again, uh, for whatever reason, to me, makes him a little bit better over the middle. I think I just think he breaks inside a little bit better. So we have a really good cover two play when it comes to that. But ultimately, like I said, really just smart routing the B route probably makes the most sense. And then you can see right here, I think it also has a little bit to do. You can see they're kind of the DBs are kind of bumping each other off, which you don't really get that effect as much without that adjustment. If you watch the DBs there, they're kind of splitting. I mean, it still kind of worked out. But like I said, you can just go straight up between the two safeties there, which is going to be big against cover two man. Against cover one man, and I mentioned this in a gameplay just yesterday. I'm going to move the ball over one more time. I ran this in yesterday's gameplay. And I said in that video, against cover two, the B route's the, 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 the read. If against cover one, 
uh, the the RB routes to read. Now, like I said, if you run this against the uh, against cover one, you want to put the RB route on a smart route. You can see how it shortens it once again, and then once again you want to float that ball. That's basically the uh, the, the difference. If you call this play, it's a pre-snap read all the way. You pretty much have to know what defense you're looking at, which type of man coverage you're looking at. Like I said, in that gameplay, for some reason, I made the mistake of running the uh, the exact opposite, and then once again floating the ball makes the most sense because you and you need space obviously because floating the ball takes up a lot more space this play can be big a one play touchdown against cover three as well uh i would only really use this if you came to the line and you saw that you know if you didn't have an audible to one of the other plays because they're obviously going to be quicker one one play touchdowns but this play here this is kind of an old school one play touchdown that you can do uh, I just streak the RB route, put the A route and out route, smart route, put the X route and out route, smart route, and block the running back. And then also helps to put the B route on a smart route so it gets across the field a little bit quicker. But like I said, I mean, this play here, you're waiting a much longer time to beat that cover three than the first two plays I showed you, uh, which obviously, why would you want to do that? So if you have your choice, I mean, it's not a bad option considering that your opponent might be looking for that scene beater. If you hit him with a, with a scene beater one time, your opponent might be watching that and then you know they might use the safety in that area or something they might use the safety on the rb route and leave the b route wide open so there's definitely a good time to have a play like this uh, but you can see i mean it's it's just a little bit more dangerous as far as taking a sack but you definitely have a one play touchdown here there's a lot of different plays that can be had against cover two zone. If you just want to streak the A route, a lot of times I feel like that's a good enough play. Um, you can just, like this guy here, I mean, that's going to be a big play, but I don't know if you can necessarily get a one-play touchdown out of that. Probably have to move the ball over once again. I mean, I keep moving it back to the center of the, the field, but if I move it over, I'll have more success. Uh, but this is definitely something you can do. You don't have to really do too much. This is probably why not a lot of people run the cover two zone. But you can say that's all about the pass. I mean, that's a high-level pass I'm making there where you're basically almost floating it up. Um, but, yeah, that pass is not necessarily something everybody's going to have a good, an easy time making. Uh, I will move the ball back one more time, though, based off of the fact that there is another play you can do where you motion the receiver across. Now, on this play, if I motion across Adams, um, I can have success with that, too. So, motioning him across, then putting the X route on a drag, uh, and then streaking the A route. This is also a really good option, uh, where the B route here, basically the cornerback just kind of gets turned around a little bit off the drag. A lot of these zones follow, and this can be a, a big play, too. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to get a one play off of either one of these. Um, you can also, I mean, the tight end, if he doesn't get bumped around too much, the tight end's definitely a good route also. So I'm going to do this one more time. Like I said, I'm going for that B route, though. That B route, to me, is the most consistent. Against cover four, you have a good play, too. If you motion across Adams, the B route, streak the X route, um, the uh, you'll, you'll have a good play to the, to the B route. Once the, the once he gets past that initial jam, um, you can see he just gets outside. Those, those outside cornerbacks, they don't really do a great job in cover four. Of defending things to the to the edge, I'll go and do that one more time. Um, this play here, I mean, you could almost have that same effect with the RB route, but it's not going to be as good uh, as the B route. The B route's going to be way better, as you can see. I mean, I'm just getting that real easy. Although there, I probably threw it a little bit early. The jam's the hardest part. That's probably the most difficult part for this play. Is the jam a lot of times if it's really sticky, can kind of mess everything up. Uh, but ultimately, this is going to be a pretty consistent play. So let's go and do that one more time. Like I said, once he gets past that, I mean, if you have a fast enough guy, I might be able to get up the sideline with a play like this. I'll move the ball over. Not saying Devontae Adams is fast enough, but I'll go ahead and I'll give it a try. Cover fours are not necessarily, I mean, there are plenty of one-play touchdowns against cover four, but uh, they're typically longer holds than this. This one here. It's like if you can get this up the shoot here and get past them, I mean, you might be able to have a really quick one-play touchdown against cover four. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see the rest of this, like I said, either hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. I'll try to put it out at a later date. Or you can just, uh, you know, like I said, join my Join Now community or join my Patreon button and link in the description below uh, if you guys want to check that out. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, we should out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.